As a neurobiologist, I am very interested in understanding the basic processes of how neuromodulation works in the brain. Without neuromodulators, we would be unable to eat, sleep, walk, or experience emotions. I don't think we would have dared to initiate the project without some of this early stage support that I received from CLP. I guess I always wanted to make a difference for lives of real people. You're excited about what you do every day, and then you might have a chance to actually see what you do helping real patients. The discovery of Lyrica, this is basic science that led to an unexpected result. But once it was approved, I then just got so inspired that maybe we can do this again. There's a difference between basic science and clinical translation. And one of the biggest problems for many, many, many researchers is covering that divide. How do you get from the bench to the classic bedside nomenclature? An institute like CLP can provide the expertise that you can get in no other way. We built upon that as we created the institute and then asked what could we do that no other institution could do if we had the right kind of resources to create core facilities that could do things that no one imagined. The remarkable thing about CLP is the number of inventions that have come out of this small institute. It's an incubator that really has no parallel. I've been studying the role of zinc in the maturation of the oocyte. And what happens is when sperm enters the egg, there is this enormous release of zinc from the egg, which we've called the zinc spark. And this biology is fundamental to the existence of all of us. No one has ever put an imaging agent inside the pancreas at the rates we can. And in so doing, since it's a nanoparticle, we can add drugs to it. So we've created a theranostic, which is therapeutics diagnostics. We have drugs that are effective in epilepsy and addiction. We've got Parkinson's disease and melanoma. I mean, who would think to put those two together? Within five years, we're in a phase one clinical trial for a drug that was supposed to initially treat schizophrenia, but now is showing incredible promise in the treatment of many types of cancers. We can do that over and over and over again with this type of a team. I have chemists, biologists, and engineers, and clinicians in my lab. And I'm really like a fractal of the rest of CLP as a whole. The people I need to solve the problems I'm working on are down the hall. When my students need to have an imaging technique done, they walk down the stairs instead of getting on a plane. CLP provides this rare opportunity for people coming from what otherwise would be disparate fields, physics, engineering, biology, chemistry, synthetic chemistry, nanotechnology, who work together, collaborate together, conceive ideas together. And without this melting pot, without this line of sight collaboration and interactions, a lot of these ideas would simply not be conceivable.